Hey and welcome. We have another Diamond Select Toys sponsored review for you today. It's going to be this Red Hulk Select figure. This guy was super popular. Sold out on a bunch of websites. Uh, it looks amazing. Uh, we'll get right to it here. Uh, showing you the packaging. Once again, all the Select figures kind of come with a standard really large uh, window blister sort of look to it. And they always have this like triangular wedge in the one corner. It's kind of odd, but it does give it a side panel as opposed to being completely all window around the whole way. And then you just get a little bit of a, a tidbit about the history of the character on the back. And as always with all the Diamond Select products, you get the design and, and sculpture notice on there. Uh, the sculpted one on this was by Gentle Giant Studios. Uh, that's pretty cool that uh, Gentle Giant was involved in the sculpting. Uh, looks pretty awesome. So why don't we just crack right into them and get to it. I don't know why, but I always struggle opening these. Um, they have some kind of weird glue keeping this side on here. Uh, it just, you know, it's just difficult to get off in, in any fashion. If you're trying to preserve the box, it's it's just not going to happen. Um, it, it gets like the cardboard just kind of sticks to the, the side of the plastic here because of this glue. So there's no way to really open it. And then if you try opening it from this side, you have this weird like security uh, thing on there. So you kind of have to get in over here and it's going to get messy. So there's really no way to preserve the packaging, which I really don't think you need to worry about, honestly, uh, especially this giant character here. If you want to keep them in the package, you're not going to be fussing with it. And if you want to take them out, then you're not really worried about the package. So taking them out here, there's no subtle way about it. Whoop, there we go. And they flew around somewhere over there. So what we have, as always, our officially licensed product notice here from Diamond Select Toys. It's going to let you check out some other uh, characters in the series, uh, in the select series. And they do a, a nice mixture between movie. Um, these are going to be the, the movie characters here. And then you have your um, more comic book oriented ones on this side. So you get a nice mixture of different characters. Uh, there's a Hulkbuster Iron Man. I didn't know they made one. I got to go check that one out. Uh, so just little surprises on there if you're aware or not. And then, of course, you have your character, and he's going to be secured here by, uh, of course, all these little difficult twisty tab things. So I'm just going to take a little exacto knife. I like doing this from the back. I think it's easier. You don't end up breaking the character rather than doing it from the front because uh, then you're risking scratching the paint when you try to get after these little tabs. Um, but these are always the, the bane of my existence. I, I'm not a fan of these tabs. They just give you a little bit too much to... Um, to, to maneuver around or to try to deal with when you're opening anything and I prefer not to have them in there. I get they're there for security reasons and to make sure the product is not flopping around inside the package for people who like to display it in the package, but I am just not a fan of them. Uh, they're just annoying. Uh, for me, they're just an extra step between me and the product and I don't want to waste the time dealing with it, uh, but it's just a factor of life having to deal with these things if you're a collector. Uh, at some point, you're going to have some bunch of straps you're going to have to deal with to get to whatever you're trying to get to. So this guy has a lot of these tabs on here. So instead of wasting your time with you watching me struggle here, I'm just going to cut right to when we have it open. So I got my Red Hulk out of the package here. And first thing I notice is, boom, this guy is huge. I mean, he weighs a lot. He's just one of the tallest action figures I've seen to date uh, in, in, I guess I would call it for the seven inch scale. Of course, we've seen taller characters, uh, but uh, in this scale, is he's massive, and he should be. He's one of the Hulks. Uh, but let's give you a close-up on this guy so you can check out the detail. And immediately, you notice that devilish grin he's got on. I, I think it's perfect. Really captures the, the maniacal look of Red Hulk. Uh, great job with that hair, all tufting up like that. Uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, Hulk is something that has the, the flame effect with him associated, and you always see that with that upward movement because hot air rises. So I guess that makes sense. The hair is floating up there. Um, they did a great job on his muscular structure here. He really conveys the look of a Hulk uh, all the way to, into his back muscles, his, his calves, everything. He's got these massive feet. I think it's pretty awesome how well detailed they are, these feet. Um, great paint applications on the nails. And of course, he's got these tattered pants he's wearing here, um, all the way down to the button. They got a really nice look on this as well. Uh, really appreciate that extra level of, of detail there. Great paint applications uh, across. I mean, there's not much here, it's just red. But as far as the pants go, I don't see any bleed over onto the, uh, the character himself. And then if you look, I mean, he's got that, it kind of looks like layering where these pants aren't 
fastened onto the skin here, their, their own layer that are on top here. Same with the, the pants above the knee. Uh, this is a great way of hiding the knee joint too. It's basically right here where the, the pants tear is. Uh, so they kind of work that in naturally with the look of the character. So that was clever on the, on the engineering side there. Um, and he's got uh, great articulation here, we see in the shoulder. So he's got that shoulder ball joint, and then he's, of course, he's got that bend at the, at the elbow here. Um, a little stiff uh, starting out with these guys, but he's got the upper quad here, twists, and then the wrist. That has articulation as well. There's a little joint there. Same with on the other side. You have that articulation across. There goes the elbow finally bending. Um, you got to wear these in a little bit. On a character this big, I imagine it's a little bit stiff when you first get it out of the box. Uh, of course, he bends at the abs there. He's got that additional articulation in the chest, um, so he can maneuver there. Um, I don't I don't think the waist turns. I see a line here, but I think that's just where the pants are, so it makes it look like a little bit more layering there where it goes into the pants. Of course, he's got that articulation in the, in the hips. You get the thigh movement a little bit there. And then, of course, you get those knees that I pointed out where the joint is hidden, where the pants um, have that tear there. And then you get this additional articulation down in the feet where they also can maneuver and uh, go up and down as well. So that's pretty great. I mean, a lot of articulation on this guy. And talking about the likeness, it's pretty good. I mean, it's supposed to be the comic book likeness. There is no uh, screen equivalent yet, so I think it, it nails it. It's got that look on it, and I love that grin and uh, great detail on the teeth. Let me give you a close-up here of the teeth. Really great detail on those teeth. I mean, they look very real. I, I really like that. Um, all the way down to those uh, the, the scrunch on the face. It's just a great, a great design and a great mold on this guy. And he's got some extra hands. That's his accessory. Um, so the, he comes default with his, uh, we'll call them Hulk smash hands. So he could smash things or punch something. And if you want, you could have these gripping hands where he could manipulate an object or pick up a rock and throw it or what have you. And of course, we love doing hand tests here. So why don't we get a, a nice hand test on the Yep, that popped out really easy. I did not have to pull too much on that, but you could see earlier, I could still get it to articulate. So while it still articulates nice and easy, uh, it's it's not coming out, but in when I need to take it out, it does. So that's it's great by design. It's not, it's not popping out unless I want it to, and it allows me to put the other hand in there. We'll try it on this side too, and that came out pretty easy. And that went in pretty easy. So the smoothest hands uh, I've had in a while on this guy. So that's great. So now we have his uh, pick up a big rock and throw it hands or something like that. These also have great paint applications on the nails and uh, great little design on the, you the veins popping out and everything and the little wrinkles around the, uh, the folds and the knuckles. So all together, I think they did a great job on this character. He looks amazing. Uh, I can see why he's so popular. I mean, he's so massive. He's, he's just awesome. Um, so the seven inch scale probably around here. So we're looking at around 10 inches maybe for this guy So he's scaled appropriately to your seven inch figures um, He's gonna tower over them. Uh, he's got like I said a lot of weight to him. It's probably at least uh, th Maybe two three pounds. <laughs> I'm guessing here. I don't have a scale, but he is quite heavy um, he, he clocks in with some of those die cast figures. I've shown you from three zero so this guy does have some weight to him. That's pretty cool to have this kind of character with a very sturdy frame and a lot of weight to him. Uh, it's pretty great. I could see why people have been buying this guy like crazy and he's been selling out. Uh, we'll still try to have some links for him. If you want to acquire him, I'll try to see what I could put up. Um, if I can find him on Entertainment Earth, of course, you guys will get the discount from us as well. I'll have a link set up there so it will automatically put in the discount. If it doesn't, we'll have the discount code at the bottom in the um, in the comments section of this uh of this piece or the info section of this piece as well. So check that out. We'll have a link for Diamond Select as well. If you want to see any other Diamond Select Toys Selects figures, they're at your local comic shop. They're on Diamond Select Toys. We always highlight them for you guys every time they go up for sale and previews or whatnot, or when they come out in stores or are available. So keep checking back Cool Toy Review for updates on what Diamond Select products are available so you can grab them before they sell out. But this guy's awesome. I'm also going to throw him into the contest we're having. If you haven't been following along, we just announced that earlier this week. Uh, this guy will be up for grabs as a, a prize as well if you choose him. Uh, we were going to make him one of the second place prizes, but if you want him instead of the Optimus for the first place, you could have that as well. But he will be on the menu for selection here, so you have a chance to take this guy home with you. Of course, he's open. He's not going to be back in his package, but he will come with his fists. And he will, he, I mean, he's 
complete in perfect condition. We're not doing anything with him other than what you're seeing right here. So uh, he's available for you too. So check out that contest video if you want a chance to take this guy home with you or have him sent to your home. Rather, you're not going to take him anywhere. He's going to come to you. Uh, so that's all for now. Of course, we're going to have more look at other select figures coming up soon. Uh, we'll have more look at some other characters that uh, aren't from Diamond Select as well. So just keep tuning back for more surprises to see what we have in store next. That's all for now. As always, like, subscribe, and follow, and we will see you guys next time.